Hey folks, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to attempt a first start on the new Grand Marquis. Come along with me. So as you guys know from the previous video, if you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to link it right up here so you guys can go back and take a look. I bought a car sight on scene. Basically it was a no start and uh, we had to diagnose what was wrong with it. What it ended up being was it ended up being the uh, positive lead that goes to the starter was, was broke, it was barely making a connection. So we got it up in the air. I even bought a new starter and realized that I'm not gonna have to use it because we tested the one that was on the car and it started, it worked fine. So I'm about to reach in and turn the key and hopefully this thing will start up. So let's take a listen. And don't you be over there disconnecting anything either, Tim. No. <laughs> Still nothing. Well. Huh? Edit. Edit. So, we did fix one thing that we knew was wrong, and that was the, the bad wire, but now we've got to uh, figure out why it's not getting signal. All right, so after messing with uh, the relays and getting them switched around, we could feel that the relays were kicking in. I figured I'd check the fuses down underneath. Pull that key out. And there's a whole mess of wires up underneath the dash, which I assume is for like a remote car starter. And then I happened to notice this little switch over here and the light or the LED was flashing green. It's not currently flashing green. But when I pressed the button, I heard something click. I reached up. Nice try, Tim. <laughs> and it started up. So we did get that wire fixed. That was part of the problem, maybe, but nevertheless, I think that might have been just a uh, relay or a valet switch for that remote start. Anyways, now that we've got this thing started, we can drive it, take it for a spin, and we'll show you what it's all about. So I don't think it's got the track lock. Um, I tried back here in the dirt and it started to spin both wheels, but I think the open diff, you know, kind of caught up to itself and it just spun the right rear. Anyways, I don't think it's got a track lock. That just means I'll be reaching out to my buddy Mitch, um, who also has a YouTube channel, it's Maritime Mitch. Uh, he's had a few of these cars in the past and he's been uh, buying up a few track locks and I might be reaching out for him for another 327 and uh, getting this one swapped out. Nevertheless, I think I gambled and I won on this car guys. Uh, bought it as a no start, offered the guy half what he, was, uh, what he was asking for it, come to a deal, had it towed out here to the shop all because of a valet switch or what seemingly was a valet switch on the remote start. So. I don't know. I think we're in a good position here to be able to drive this thing. We had it up in the air and I will get it back up again and show you guys. It's not in that bad of shape. Uh, not quite as good as grandma, but nevertheless, uh, it's got a little bit more age on it as far as mileage goes, 339, 37,000 kilometers, which is about 212 or 15,000 miles. So anyways, let's get this thing out on the road. We're going to take it for a spin and he, see, and see he, 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 see he. Let's get this thing out on the road and see how she drives. So we are just out here on the initial drive, the test drive, as we could call it, because like I said before, uh, I bought it sight on scene, didn't even listen to the engine start. So, so far it seems to have all the gears. Uh, it shifts very good. There's no lags other than the normal lag that you get out of these cars. Um, overdrive just kicked in and uh, there's no loud wheel bearing noises, no clunks, no shakes, no rattles. Again guys, we gambled on this car uh, for 900 bucks and I think we won. I think it's going to make a great car for, uh, for me to drive for the winter. 
and for us to beat around and, and, and do some stuff uh, on the channel. So I think what we're going to do is uh, get it up to highway speed. Again, make sure there is no shakes and rattles. I'm going to grab some lunch while I'm out here. Uh, get it back to the shop and uh, get to cleaning up on it. She's pretty dirty in here, just mostly gravel and stuff. And then we'll focus our attention on the finish to that paint because as it sits right now, I'm not liking the faded white look. Sanding it down with that uh, Scotch Bright pad kind of gives it a little bit of a different texture. And uh, I think we're going to live with that for a little bit until we decide what we're going to do with the, uh, with the paint and bodywork. So, anyways, come along for the ride. Now we are up to cruising temperature. Temperature? <laughs> right now we are up to cruising speed and no shakes, very slight in the steering wheel. Could be just a tire balance, but uh, we can fix that very easily. Uh, we're going to be putting those winter tires on here soon, anyways, but nevertheless, I think, I think we won. I think we won. Anyways, let's get this back to the shop, get her cleaned up. Okay, so we've managed to get the old Grand Marquis here, the unnamed Grand Marquis, uh, a little bit of cleaning up. And what we were able to do is we continued with the Scotch Bright and we went over the entire car. As you can see, it looks a little more black now than it used to. Um, we give it a little bath and clean it up a bit. And you can still see some of the drying marks there where we didn't quite uh, dry it off as good, but nevertheless, uh, it looks a little more black and a little less blotchy than it did before. So I'm not sure what I think of this look um, We may end up going over it and uh, scuffing up a little bit better and maybe doing an actual satin black paint job on it It does have a little bit of body work that needs to be looked after there's a little bit of a blistering there on the fender And there's a little bit more down here in the dog leg But overall the car is in pretty good condition um, we did spend some time giving it a quick vacuum and cleaning up the windows and stuff like that on the inside. But let's take a look underneath the hood. And I mean, there's nothing really special to show you there other than the fact that uh, it is a 4.6. Yeah, one handed. Other than it's a 4.6, it's pretty well standard. Somebody at one point has painted this little cover and put a aftermarket breather on it like I did. Um, might replace that with something a little fresher. It does have a brand new battery in it and uh, it's got a stereo system in it it's also got a remote start which i don't have the remote for but nevertheless we do have that so we will get in here and we will kind of clean that up a bit i'm not too concerned about it after all this is just going to be a ratty old winter beater <clears throat> now this thing is badged as an ultimate edition and i didn't know that the ultimate edition didn't come with leather nor did it come with a sunroof but i did find the original bill of sale or not the bill of sale but the window sticker uh, in there and this is a uh, an ultimate edition so it's got the keypad on the door uh, it's got the lumbar support and the seat all this is still the same as my car in fact the interior looks almost identical and as we get inside we do have the climate control. We've got a semi-broken cup holder here, just like most of them. And the aftermarket radio with the GPS, the backup camera. I did install my phone holder and charger. And other than the digital dash, everything is pretty much the same in here as it was on Grandma. We've got her cleaned up. It's gonna be a winter driver. We're gonna start doing some mods to it here in the near future. But before we do that, we do need a name. And I'm counting on you guys to help me pick out a name, something uh, keen. And like I said in the previous video, I don't want it to be Grandpa. A little too cliche. Uh, so something different like uh, Rat Panther or somebody had mentioned to me in a private message earlier today, Black Market. 
I don't know, something new, something creative, something we haven't heard. Um, there's, there's a lot of these Panthers out there on YouTube and well, I want mine to be a bit unique. So that's where you guys come in with helping me decide on what we're gonna do for a name. So anyways, having said that, um, we're getting ready to head home for the day. I thank you guys for watching. I thank you guys for supporting the channel and for hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already because that's what's gonna build this channel and help it grow and uh, get the word out about just how good these Panther platforms really are. And uh, without you guys watching, I wouldn't be doing it. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for the, the support, and thanks for being a part of Old Car Guy. Thank you so much for everything that you guys have done for me on this YouTube platform. So we'll end it right there with stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys, God bless. Let's do it again in the next one.